Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of The Imp, a Hong Kong horror movie from 1981. I actually covered this movie, I think, earlier this year in my Asian horror addendum video, but I wanted to give it a separate review during October, because I feel like this is a, a Hong Kong horror movie that kind of goes under the radar, and I think most people would like quite a bit if they watched it. So with a pregnant wife at home, Kung has been struggling to find a job, but he finally finds work as a security guard in a commercial building. Strange incidents occur in the building, and his colleagues begin to die one by one in horrible ways, due to an imp, a mythological being similar to a fairy or demon, frequently described in folklore and superstition. A geomancer warns Kung that he will be the next victim and teaches him how to avoid his fate. Now, the imp has kind of this realistic, dramatic core to it. You know, our protagonist has everyday problems, like attempting to support a wife, a pregnant wife, by looking for a reliable job. And he goes on a few interviews early on for some corporate positions, but he kind of lacks the, the real qualifications in that industry. And there are some financial pressures on him for sure. His wife does have a bit of an attitude problem, uh, but he's doing his best to uh, provide. And this forces him to deal with problems when he does not feel like it. You know, he doesn't have the flexibility or the leverage to just leave a job and just find another one, that type of thing. So, you know, when he finds a job, he can't afford to lose it. So when he finally gets the security job position, you know, problems arise and he feels like he has to stick it out. And these dramatic elements kind of help to raise the film to a respectable level in terms of overall quality. Now, Charlie Chin stars in this, and most people probably will recognize him from the Lucky Stars trilogy, as well as Eastern Condors. In The Imp, he does a good job of playing like the everyday guy, who's basically in a vulnerable position. Kent Chang also has a supporting role, and some will recognize him from the Ip Man franchise, but we've been getting some legit Blu-ray releases from his earlier films, like Run and Kill, which is awesome. So this has a pretty solid cast here. Now, in terms of content, there's a lot of superstitious content that revolves around Feng Shui. Per the internet, Feng Shui is an ancient Chinese system that involves the arrangement of spaces, structures, and orientations to promote harmony and balance. And this is sometimes implemented inside people's homes, and they focus on that a lot in this film. A while back, I reviewed a movie on this channel that had a Feng Shui angle. That was Exuma from South Korea, a uh, far more recent movie, actually. Um, but the imp has this element in it as well, because an advisor arrives, and he describes specific tactics and meanings to things that happen, and the locations of certain objects and things like that. And I, I kind of like this element, because I mean, we don't really see it that often in horror films. Now, in regard to the scares themselves, the spirit attacks are well filmed. Again, we have a film here that's just good quality just across the board. Uh, this film does take itself seriously, and it pulls it off. This is not like a cheesy, corny movie that earns entertainment value through schlock. You know what I mean? Quite the opposite, actually. You don't actually see the entity much until the end, which kind of makes it this ominous presence. And this imp is freaking vicious. You know, it really is. It uses invisible attacks, suffocation attacks, um, other abilities that can make escape essentially impossible for the person it's targeting. It also uses fog to kind of blind its victims during its attacks. Uh, one example of, of a scene in this movie to look forward to is the elevator scene early on that's quite good. It involves water. There's a bloody surgery scene that has a surprise in it, as well as a crazy scene involving a car. Um, so there are also actually some spell casting scenes involving the geomancer who attacks the imp spirit. So, of course, the protagonists want to go on the attack at one point, and we get some scenes there. So it's a nice variety of different types of scares and a good quality execution of horror. The best scene, probably, is the finale. It's very lengthy, and the ending is pretty crazy, which I will not spoil. Uh, add to that a bunch of atmosphere with use of vivid colors and set designs in this. The filmmakers use some very deep hues of green and red specifically, and I'm someone who likes 
vivid colors in my horror films. It just adds an additional level of atmosphere to things. And this movie does scratch that itch. It's, you know, uh, I remember when I first watched this movie, I actually avoided this movie for a while. Just the title just seemed weird, and the poster art just seemed odd. Um, but when I eventually watched it, I was quite impressed with just the uh, the lighting in the film in particular, in addition to everything else. So I definitely recommend The Imp. Uh, this is one to definitely check out if you haven't seen it, and I suspect a lot of people have it. It's currently available streaming on YouTube and Daily Motion, and this is really a solid film to watch during the, the Halloween season, so check it out. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.